Shalom, Chaverim. I'm Rabbi Dan Gordon of Temple Beth Torah. Our biggest fears are fears of the unknown. And what's the greatest unknown? But what happens to us when our days are over? Of course, there are many scriptures that can describe in detail what heaven or hell might be like. But of course, none of us really knows. One of my favorite stories is one about a man who was deeply troubled by what might happen to him when his days were done. So troubled that he had dreams about it. And in one dream, he was being given a tour. An angel took him and said, here is one of the places you might be. And he showed him a big, grand ballroom with every kind of food you could imagine. The aroma was just delighting his senses. He said, this must be heaven. But the angel said, no, I'm afraid not. This is hell. And the man looked at the faces of the people sitting at the table, and he saw they were annoyed. They were aggravated. What was wrong? Well, these people did not have elbows. They had two arms with a fork and a spoon attached. But they had no elbows, and they could not bend their arms to feed themselves. And all the food was spread at the table, but it could not come into their mouths, and they were tempted, but they couldn't feed themselves. The man was very disturbed by this. He said, but is there a heaven? The angel smiled and nodded and took him into another ballroom. It looked identical to the first. The same kind of food, the same kind of aroma. He said, is this the same room? No, the people's faces were joyous. What was the difference? Perhaps they have elbows, perhaps they can feed themselves. But he looked and these people had the same kind of affliction. No elbows, straight arms, a fork and a spoon. But these were those who came to heaven and they had learned how to feed each other. My friends, all our fears can be satisfied when we learn to feed each other. Shalom.